Hello, so today I'm going to make a card with you using a technique that I'm not very used to, but I thought I'd give it a go and why not film it while I try it. Um, it's basically to make a, a sponged background. So um, I needed to mask off the area, so I made a card out of Whisper White cardstock and then I used a piece of card as a template to stick post-it notes all the way around so I know where to stamp the uh, sponge. And then I've got the fabby little um, sponge dabbers and I'm going to start sponging. So I think the colour I'm going to start with first is um, Bashful Blue because it's quite a pale colour and um, the whole trick with um, sponging is to start light and then build build up the colours. So I'm, I'm going to go for, um, I'm trying to make some cloud type effects um, before the whole um, C part comes along, if you see what I mean. So um, I'm just using my sponge dabber in the ink and I'm dabbing it along. Um, the thing that's really important is to try not to get it looking too much like the end of the thing, like with circles on. And that's the bit where I really struggle, but there's a few different things you can do. You can, instead of dab, 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 you can smooth it on oh, like this and that can help um, reduce that and also it fills in the colours quite nicely. Um, your um, edging with the post-it notes should hold. So that's my um, starting point. I'm just going to keep adding layers of colour because basically um, you just keep going until you're happy with what you've got. Um, so I think that's going to be my cloud part. Next I'm going to go for the C. So I'll put that to one side. Um, I think maybe I'm going to go for a bit of pool party first off. Um, I'm really bad. I don't actually change um, down I just use the same one. So I'm just going to um, start that off and it's going to obviously have a bit of that blue that I've just been using, the bashful blue. And I'm just gonna go in a circular motion to try and get sort of a, <laughs> one of my chickens is just by my door there. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm getting a circular motion to try and fill in the um, background. So I've got a base color and then I can build up and add like wave type colors. Um, and I'm not gonna worry too much about making it too perfect. So that's my pool party layer at the bottom. And then I'm going to add some um, Baja Breeze. I actually got all my blues out, but I've decided Baja Breeze it is. And I'm just going to add some more layers of colour to it. And like I said, you can't really go too wrong because you're just going to keep adding the colours until um, it looks kind of sea-ish. Um, Although in my one I've kind of got cloud as well, like so. So next thing to do is to stamp the boat. And I'm using the stamp Sail Away. And I think following along the blue theme, I'm going to go with Night of Navy, which I think is a really great colour. And um, because this is quite a big stamp, it's got quite a lot of detail on it, you can see there. So it's really important to make sure the whole thing is totally coloured. So I don't want any bits of the pattern missing, like so. So I'm just going to do that slightly to the left hand side and press it down. And a good thing about this is because it's meant to be sailing, it doesn't matter if it's a teeny bit wonky. So there we go. That's your boat. I can actually take all these bits off. And you can see the background that we've created. It looks so much better without the yellow um, post-its, like so. But I decided that would be a bit bit too boring. So I've, um, what have I done with it? I had some words. Oh, here. Um, I got It's Your Day, another uh, set that I got free at convention. This is found on the page where it's got like the card making kits. Um, and I'm gonna do It's Your Day. I think this could be another really nice men's card. So there I've just done that by eye. 
and then I also used the same stamp and stamped it on with the Night of Navy ink onto um what am I talking about? Oh yeah, onto the uh side with um newsprint. So it wasn't on the same card and I cut out some waves uh sails. Although I've actually cut out a bit much of it. Have I got it still? Yeah. I cut off a bit much. There we go. What was I thinking? So I needed no, a bit there. We'll stick that together. So the idea is that um, I'm going to stick this using dimensionals. I'm going to stick one over the bit where I need to add some height. And I've got to trim this bit off because I've, I've got confused with my my um, sail and my non-sail. Pull that bit off. Um, it's a bit big, so I'm just going to cut it in half. It's a brilliant thing about these dimensions because they're quite big, but they're super sticky. And if you just stick on a half, um, that's plenty often. So I'm going to stick on another one. Oh, what am I doing? I've stuck them to my thing. I might have to leave that one. Um, right, let's cut another one off. Okay, so I put my dimensions on like that. And then I'm just going to peel off the um, side bit. And I can stick that on. And this is my little bit that I cut off by accident. Oh, it's gone on the floor. I think I might need to practice doing these videos a bit more. Uh, and then I'm just going to stick that on like that. So then you've got like a 3D effect um, because they're on the dimensionals like that. So, so there we have it. Uh, sailboat card, perfect for men um, and using a sponging technique. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you again soon.